He is known for being a Polish army officer and a participant in the Polish November Uprising against Russian rule. He is recognized for his bravery and heroism during the uprising, which earned him the Virtuti Military Golden Cross. His name is Antoni Norbert Patek. In the annals of horological history, one name stands out, Antoni Norbert Patek de Prodzik, a legendary figure whose impact on the world of timekeeping is immeasurable. Born in 1812 in Pieski Slaczyki near Lublin, Poland, Patek's journey into the world of watches began at a young age. After moving to Warsaw with his parents, he joined the Polish 1st Mounted Rifles Regiment at the age of 16 and fought in the Polish November Uprising against Russian rule. His bravery earned him promotions and decorations, but after the uprising's downfall, Patek, like many others, had to emigrate. In 1832, Patek was entrusted by General Josef Baim to organize an evacuation route for Polish insurgents through Prussia to France. After the successful completion of this mission, Patek settled in France, working as a typesetter in Cahors and Amiens. However, an unfavorable decree from the French government forced him and other former insurgents to resettle in Switzerland. It was during this time that Patek discovered his passion for pocket watches, trading in exquisite timepieces adorned by skilled artisans. He prioritized quality and artistic value, quickly finding a market that appreciated these exceptional creations. On July 20, 1839, Patek married Marie Adelaide Elizabeth Thomasine Denizart in Versowicz, Switzerland. Together, they had three children, with their firstborn tragically passing away in infancy. Despite the loss, Patek continued to pursue his passion for watchmaking, ensuring that each timepiece crafted under his direction was of the highest quality. His dedication to excellence and artistic value laid the foundation for Patek Philippe, the iconic luxury watch brand that bears his name. In Geneva in 1839, Antony Patek, along with his partner Francis X. Apec, a talented watchmaker from Warsaw, established their watch manufacturing company. The venture received financial support from their first employees, including Polish watchmakers Warzeniak Gostkowski, Winston E. Gostkowski, and the Ladislaw Bandersky. Initially, the company focused on producing pocket watches based on individual orders, with a strong emphasis on artistic craftsmanship that showcased themes from Polish history and culture. The small company, known as Patek, Zapek and Company, employed around six workers and managed to produce about 200 high-quality watches per year. The few remaining examples of these early timepieces reflect the perfect combination of artistic exploration and technical expertise. The Patek Philippe Museum houses a collection of watches that highlights the company's early artistic creations. Among these are watches adorned with the coat of arms of Princess Zobo from 1845, as well as portraits of Polish General Tadeusz Kosciuszko and Polish Prince and Marshal of France Józef Poniatowski from 1948. These timepieces not only represent the skill and craftsmanship of Patek, Zapek and company, but also pay homage to Polish heritage and historical figures. Despite its humble beginnings, the collaboration between Antony Patek and Francis X. Zapek laid the foundation for what would eventually become the renowned Patek Philippe brand. Their commitment to artistry, technical excellence, and a touch of Polish history set the stage for the company's future success in the world of horology. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.